All right, well, I opened up Premiere today and it looks completely different. So let's break down the new April release of Adobe Premiere Pro. And so I've got one of the projects I'm working on, a documentary called Beyond the Beat, uh, which is in its final stages. It's more in its revisional uh, edit mode. And so there's a couple sequences that I'm changing, taking out, adding in, etc. And so uh, I've got this pulled up and I'm going to break down some of the new features of Premiere Pro. So the first thing you'll notice here, if you're someone who's used Premiere Pro a lot in the past, is you'll notice there's a new header bar. Uh, what used to be up here were different workspaces that had color, sound, uh, edit, and all of that. And you could have created your own custom workspaces as well. Well, now it's totally different and you don't see those workspaces up here. The only tabs you see is your home tab, your import, your edit, and your export, right? Both the import and the export windows have been completely redesigned. So we're gonna check those out right now. So you'll notice that it's totally different. It's no longer just searching through files and different MP4s or whatever it is that you have that you're importing into your project. Uh, now, depending on the video codec, you can actually scrub through uh, the different videos that the different videos that you actually have in a folder. Uh, so this is their sample media folder, and you can see that I can actually scrub through some of this footage, uh, and I can do that for some of my own projects as well. So you know, in my Beyond the Beat hard drive that I have here, um, I can actually go in, go to Beyond the Beat, go into one of my folders, go into my GH5 footage and videos. So it's gonna take a while to load some of the previews for these because they're completely uncompressed 4K raw footage. Uh, but you can you get the picture, you can, you can scrub through your footage, you can actually adjust the preview size of each one of these clips, you can make them as big or as small as you'd like. Uh, and then another thing that you can actually do is go into your import settings here on the right. And you can see that I can actually create a new bin, I can create a new sequence and import this footage, uh, or I can import them via presets uh, and import them into my timeline from there. And so it allows you a lot more flexibility and I think it makes importing footage a lot easier, especially if you've got uh, a new project and you've got multiple different places that you wanna actually import your footage from. It makes it really, really easy. So let's go back to the edit tab. There's a couple things in the header that I think is important to go over. Uh, the first of which is the workspaces that you previously had are now within a button with a drop down menu. And so I can go to this workspaces button and as you can see, it drops down and it's got all of my previous workspaces that I've created, the custom ones and the stock workspaces, the color effects, audio, all of the typical ones you're used to seeing in the top header are now within this drop down menu, which is okay. Uh, I kind of wish I could actually like save which workspaces I have on the header to make it so that I can, you know, switch to them a lot quicker, but this is fine. It'll do. Another interesting feature on this header is actually the next button which is a quick export button. This could come in super handy. I actually have saved designated presets for quick exports for both 4K and 1080p footage. But what this allows me to do is quickly go in and export a, a sequence or two that I wanna send to a producer or a director or a client. Uh, and this allows me to do that in a much more easier way. And so uh, I think this feature is great and I could actually use this a lot. The final feature that I have is actually a maximize video output feature. This is something that I've been wanting for Premiere Pro for a very, very long time. Uh, basically what you can do is you can hit this button and you can watch your, your, your timeline in full screen in real time, uh, which is really, really nice. And I can press play, I can pause it, I can exit out and go back into my edit. Uh, it's, Definitely has some echoes of some Final Cut Pro features or iMovie features, but uh, it's definitely, definitely helpful. Same thing with the import feature as well, being able to scrub through the video. That's been very interesting to, uh, to discover. Now let's go into our export tab. So this export tab, like I said, it's been completely redesigned uh, to, be, to kind of encompass your whole window. So rather than being a pop-up, uh, it's now your entire uh, Premiere Pro window, which is kind of nice. There's several different things here. Um, a lot of the same features that you had before in your 
uh, old export window are in this. It's just a different UI. So, you know, you can enable or disable your video, audio, effects, your metadata, whatever it is you want to do. You can match your source like before or adjust the video uh, as you see fit. Uh, you can preview it. You can play it. You can select your in and out points for this. Uh, you can send it to your media encoder like before, or you can just export it through Premiere. Uh, what I want to really emphasize here is on this left-hand side, you can see that you can actually gear your export towards a certain output. So if your output is for a Facebook video or a YouTube video or a Vimeo video, you can actually do that through this, uh, which is super, super helpful. So I'm actually going to uh, go in and highlight my YouTube one. And I think what it does is it's actually going to create two separate files. It's going to create my media file because I've enabled that. And it'll also create a YouTube file that's built for specifically YouTube. Uh, and I can actually log in to my YouTube account here and be able to upload it from my actual Premiere Pro account. There are a couple other features that I want to go over uh, just briefly because they may pertain to you more than they pertain to me. Uh, one of which is they've integrated Frame.io actually into Premiere Pro uh, and After Effects. And if you don't know what Frame.io is, essentially what it is, it allows you, it's a collaborative tool that allows you to send the video off to producers, clients, directors, whoever it is you want to show the video, and they can interact with that edit in, an, in a much more effective way by leaving notes uh, for you to, to work on different edits, and they can draw on the screen and a bunch of different stuff. Uh, they actually have a third-party integration with Premiere Pro, and it sounds like with this new update, uh, that Frame.io integration feature is actually built into Premiere Pro, which is really, really nice. Another new feature that I actually might use a little bit is uh, their new organization around markers. So markers, if you don't know, you can press your M key at certain points of the timeline, and you can create a new marker. Well, I can actually go in and adjust the color of this marker. Uh, so I can, I can double-click the marker, and this marker window pops up and I can actually change the marker window. I can add comments. I can add a, a name to the marker and then I can press OK and actually create it. And with this new feature in Premiere Pro, what I can actually do is go into my markers tab and be able to organize my markers based off of their color. So I can filter through them so I can only see all the red markers or all the blue markers or all the yellow markers, which allows me to, if I've got a huge timeline with 50 minutes cut, I can actually go into that feedback from, let's say, Frame.io uh, and the markers that automatically get imported into Premiere, I can then filter them via color and make it much more effective for me to be able to see and prioritize which edits I need to make first. So those are all of the new updates for Premiere Pro 22.3. If you have any new features that you've discovered or any comments or questions about these new features, feel free to comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you here real soon.